Hello Internet. In these dark times that are actually less dark than any previous point in history, but thanks to the Internet we're all starting to realise everything that's wrong with the world that can make things seem increasingly despairing despite progress being made, what we need is a YouTuber that was secretly struggling with mental health problems giving advice to other suffering young people. Because hey, why did Troy and Gabriella sing We're All In This Together if we aren't standing hand in hand when we reach our inevitable dooms. It's the Internet Support Group. But first, a bit of liquid assistance to get me ready. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry, what were you expecting? I'm just making some calming green tea so I feel healthy and energized, ready to give some advice. It tastes like grass, but it makes me look cultured, so I'll stick with it. Our first question today comes from Angelina, age 12, from Australia, My Hey, Danny Snot on Fire. Why? I'm going into high school next year, but I don't know how to make friends. I can't make eye contact with people, I'm too shy around new acquaintances, and I can't keep conversations rolling. What do? Neither do I. Make friends with other awkward people, then you can just meet up and sit around in silence not looking at each other. It's kind of weird, but it works. Ron, 18 USA, would like to ask. Hi, D. D. Better but not great. Any advice for losing a cringe high school nickname? Seriously, you're asking me that. How insensitive are you people? Some people from my school are going to my college next year and they call me sock due to them catching me doing something with a sock. You didn't say what, but everyone will immediately assume the worst thing. So I don't know if that was the right call there. I don't want to be known as sock into my adult life. Cheers. Two options. Either you just go up to them and say, hey buddy, uh, I was kind of hoping this would be a fresh start. So. Could you not say that? Or if that doesn't work, just do something else so scandalous that you'll get rebranded to Baby Juggler or something zany. 18, Joanna from California. Not clickbait. Honestly, the fact that anyone ever has to say that these days is so depressing. I found your home. Uh, what? <laughs> okay. Daniel Dump Ground Road. <laughs> like most things, it's funny because it has a hint of truth. Now we go to Olivia, age 16, from but fucking Oklahoma. I hope that's a real place. Hey Dan, I don't really need any advice, but here's a picture of my cat. I thought it might help you. Oh, thank you. I genuinely needed that. Let's go to Brianna, 15, from Maryland. I always feel like my life isn't lived to its fullest because of how cautious I am. I've never dated because I feel like my relationship would end in a breakup and it would be a waste of time. Hope you get to read this. Please get a cooler shirt. Um, okay, firstly, I've decided that I wear white shirts in this series, okay? And in the world of white shirts, this is a pretty interesting one, okay? I don't know what you want from me, but I feel like I'm doing a pretty good job here already, okay? Also, uh, yeah, just go for it, whatever. Natalie, age 16, from the USA, is inquiring. I started dating an internet friend and I feel like I'm being suffocated. If I don't pick up their calls or even text them fast enough, they start wondering if I'm dead. I just want to go back to being friends because honestly, the warm fuzzy feeling has begun to die and rot. Jesus, die and rot. <laughs> right, well, what I would say here- oh, wait, there's another email. Update, it got unhealthy way too fast so I broke up with them. Please ignore me with this issue and thank you for noticing. Oh, right, well. <laughs> Cool then. Guess, uh, guess you don't need me. Never mind. Elizabeth, 17, Michigan, who hopefully actually needs me. Hi Dan, sorry to bother you with my problems. I'm constantly worried about being a burden on others or not showing enough appreciation. I thanked my mum for making dinner the other day because I felt bad that she had to come home from a long day of work just to spend more time not relaxing on doing what she wants to do. Is this actually normal or should I be concerned? It ain't normal enough to be honest. Good for you thanking your mum though. Anyone that spends their free time helping others and not expecting gratitude is a good person. And so do you sound like for just saying thank you. So you know what I say? You make sure to spend some time looking after yourself, okay? Because you deserve it. Unlike her, what was their name? Natalie. Fuck Natalie. Let's take one now from Lauren, aged 15, US. Hey Daniel, so I may or may not have just found my 12 year old brother's secret. Do continue. The family iPad was on the arm of the couch, so I decided to play some Silverio. When I open it up, what is the first thing I see? Boobs. Did he literally just Google Boobs, that is so innocent. 
and traumatizing for you. I don't know if I should try to talk to him about it or not because after all it was the family iPad so I should yell at him to be more careful. I can't live with this Dan. I don't think I'll ever be able to look at my brother the same. Lauren, I think you need to have a chat with your brother and that's the firstly you're 12, secondly not on the family iPad chat. Anna 16 Oz writes in, Hello Dan, I'm an Australian doing an assignment on Brexit and I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> well that's perfect because neither does the British government. Sorry, I had to. It's like I'm literally drinking out of Shrek's swamp. Luke, 25, and a Florida man. I'm expecting big things. Hi, Danny boy. Basically what happened is that in December, my girlfriend's dog, Gator, died of cancer. We loved Gator so much. Gator? Okay, sad dog story, here we go. So in January, I decided to get a new dog to kind of replace Gator. Oh. I figured he'd be my best friend. Well, this dog is insane. He chews up all of my stuff and he tried to attack me when I came home from work one night, but the worst thing is she lets the dog sleep at the end of the foot of our bed, but all night the dog nips on my feet and legs. I know she won't get rid of the dog, so Dan, what do I do? Aw, look at him. Good boy, yes. Oh, no, wait, no, no, he's, he's, he's a bad dog. As if such a thing exists. Right, if this dog is disrespecting you in your own home, you need to start speaking his language. You know what I say? You climb into his bed in the night and you chew on his feet. You go pee all over his property. You go up to your girlfriend and start humping her leg before he does and then just make eye contact with him the whole time. And then maybe if your girlfriend doesn't think you've gone completely crazy, it might work. Don't hold me responsible. Ty11 from Maine has sent me a whole email in Japanese, okay? Damn, that's about all I can understand there. Susie, 17 UK. Sorry for a bit of a serious one, but I really don't know what I should do with my boyfriend. We've been together for two years and it's all been fine. I mean, with the usual hiccups, but last week we were hanging out in his room watching YouTube. Hi, hi. Then he started flirting with me. I told him I definitely wasn't in the mood, but he wouldn't take the hint. Nothing terrible, but it made me feel really uncomfortable. Should I talk with him? If you say no, there is no consent. You are a person with feelings, not an object that's just there to be sexy whenever he's in the mood. Explain this to him, make him understand, get him to apologize for it, and if he ever does it again, just replace him with a fucking houseplant or something that will give you just as much joy and respect. Unlike the respect I showed to my bonsai, this is why it's important to stay hydrated. Benny, aged 18 from LA, would like to ask, Hi Dan, do you have any advice on how to grow facial hair? Thanks. Do I look like I could give advice on growing facial Hair. How's about you come back to me when I'm freaking 36 and I've actually finished puberty? <laughs> Let's go to Vera, aged 15 from Denmark. Hello Daniel, I can't believe I'm even writing this in 2017, but I'm getting really badly bullied at school for being ginger. People feel the need to shout things at me like carrot, which isn't like offensive, but it's just this weird aggression all the time because of my hair color. I feel like I should just dye it black to shut people up, but is that admitting defeat? People being bullied for having ginger hair is literally the perfect example of how dumb humanity is and how they will find literally anything to divide each other over. Don't dye your hair black, love yourself, okay? And whether you choose to deal with it or just ignore these morons, I really hope that you meet people in the rest of your life that don't find orange protein strings funny. All right, Nathan, 23 from Lancaster. Hey buddy, bit of a weird one. I just finished uni and I literally have no money. I'm scared about Christmas because my older brothers have successful jobs and they're gonna get flashy expensive gifts for my family. I'm actually freaking out about going home as I don't want to embarrass myself. Uh, am I being adult? No, it is totally a thing that any holiday or occasion like a birthday comes with all of these expectations to buy people gifts and compare yourselves to others, but what you can't buy is sincerity. So maybe try making something sentimental that represents what you mean to that person, or just tell them you're having a rough time at the moment, because if they love you, you being there with them should be enough of a gift. Now we have one from Mary, aged 34 from France. Hi Daniel, is it a sin to pee in the shower? Sister Mary. I really want to believe that somewhere there is a nun watching these YouTube videos, in which case then you have failed and you are definitely going to hell. But no, in all seriousness, it's actually quite good for the environment to conserve water. And Jessica, 17, from New Mexico, USA. I have a blood fetish. Hold up, what the fuck? I crave the sight, feeling, and taste of blood. One of my friends got two tiny cuts in the same place at the same time. I'm legit starting to think I'm literally a vampire. Also, I have stupidly sharp teeth. 
No, that is not photoshopped. That is an actual picture of my tea. Alrighty, well, uh, my tea has turned into a weird powdery sludge and apparently I have to go call the FBI to warn them about some vampire. So this seems like a good time to stop quickly. Haha, <laughs> if you want me to answer one of your problems in a future video, then just email your name, age, location, and query to dangibsadvice at gmail.com. But if that's not enough for you, if you want me up close and personal in your face in real life, then why don't you come see Phil and I on our 2018 world tour with a whole insane stage show we are calling Interactive Introverts. Good name, right? It's accurate. Where as well as generally having the best time of your freaking life and looking at us both doing some mild exercise because we're stood up, you get to join thousands of people just like you laughing at us in person. We are like actually going around the whole world, so if you want to see where we're going, when, and get tickets to come see us, just go to danandphiltour.com. Unless you're Jessica. Please don't come Jessica, I'm, I'm actually scared. If you enjoyed this, give me a little cheeky thumb rub, that should earn you a creepy high school nickname. And if you want to know when I'm making more content to keep you content, then remember to subscribe and ring the bell for notifications. You can watch a V Mysterious video that I made with Phil by clicking over there and stay strong. If we all hope hard enough, the end will surely come. Goodbye.